the beautiful summer night and uh, on education exchange new episode from public access tv and the education headquarters in iowa city uh, community school district i would like to welcome our guests from the great school of burdock elementary and today we are going to introduce Berlin's activity in the International Festival Day. Wonderful activity that everybody in town was talking about. All right, Emily, and you are one of the teachers that were leading this project. I am. And so uh, before we introduce this uh, beautiful bouquet of guests, I would like you to tell us what was the International Day of Berlug Elementary? So at the end of March each year, we host an international festival, and it's a great time for families to come out and we get to embrace all the wonderful diversity that we have in our building. Families can come and share their culture. They can share things like their language, clothing. Um, they've done some different crafts and activities with the kids, music. It's just a really great way for families to get to come share their culture and for all the kids to get to embrace that as a school community. And I think you brought with you a beautiful collection of pictures. We did. We'd uh, love to share those with you. While we are talking, I think we are going to show our audience and our viewers uh, some of those pictures, you know. So uh, the activity was not only uh, uh, restricted to certain parts, like music only or food only. It was inclusive? Absolutely. A little bit of everything. In our multi-purpose room, we had displays of food. Families that wanted to share food from their native countries could bring samples of food to try. And then lots of the students came in traditional clothing, which was very fun to see them all dressed up in their finest. And then in the gym, we had displays, table displays that had artifacts and clothing, and uh, we had students performing music as well this year, which was a fun addition that we just uh, decided to add this year. Uh, I know you have a, a very talented uh, music teacher. Absolutely. <laughs> Diana <laughs> Larson. And Diana Larson, you are on the center of the stage today uh, with, with the real heroes of the festival on, on your yeah. si by your side, right? Definitely. Uh, so how about if you introduce all our guests sure. to okay. the audience? So yes. um, over here we have Sandeep, Welcome. who's a Borlaug parent, Welcome. and Ruth Temple, who teaches second grade, and Michi, yep. another parent. And to my left we have Tata Michi, who is a first grader, and then two <laughs> fourth graders, Himani and Sachiko. And then, again, Emily Ring, who teaches kindergarten. And then Archna, who is Hamani's mom, also and a Borlaug parent. And Hani. Yeah. We all know you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, uh, let us, uh, we'll come back to you, of course. Uh, sure. But uh, before, before we move to Ruth, I would like to ask you about the music part. Yeah. How did you select the pieces, and how how were you fair? I mean, you have all the nationalities there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, for this event, we just invite um, students and families. That's just one option they have. Mm -hmm. So they could come and set up a table display, or they could bring food. Or if the child or family wants to perform some kind of song or dance or performance, we have that as an option. So this year, we had um, a number of songs and a couple of dances. And it's usually near the end of the event. People gather at one end of the gym, and it's, it's kind of casual and comfortable, yet also we have a stage. So um, we try to make it one of the choices of the evening. Uh, educationally speaking, Ruth, what was the most intriguing part of this? What was the most uh, uh, like important achievement that you feel you gained? through this experience? I think um, part of that was that we gathered as a community, we learned from each other, we learned from experts about a place that maybe we've never been. Um, we got to, they have a little hallway of flags, and so lots of times um, students and their families are having their picture taken near a flag of a country that they're from, or they're investigating a flag from a country they've never been to. They're tasting food and deciding whether they like it or love it, or uh, maybe not. And we have a birthday cake because we're celebrating Dr. Borlaug, who did international work. Um, but we also have a, a, a bingo, a game board. And 
that kind of gets students focused on learn how to say hello in a different language or what new thing did you taste or what did you learn you know from some of the displays and so they mark things off and then they get a little um, stamp on it that says look what I've learned um, and they're learning it from experts they're learning it from Sandeep and his family who are willing to come and make a display um, show how to write your name in a different language and things like that and they're having fun they're having their it's food and fun and learning thrown in there as well. So I think it's a good achievement for our community because it builds, we get to know each other better. Well, uh, Dr. Sandeep, why, why don't you tell us uh, your part, you know, your feeling about the event? Well, I will start with the feeling part first, you know. Yes. Um, I think it, it was a very interesting and important activity which the school did. And I think that that's a very befitting tribute to Dr. Borlaug, uh, who was very, you know, Iowan, as we know, but he worked for the whole humanity, actually. He went out, he developed these new breeds, which were very fast growing. And I think um, if, if we have to name a person who contributed to humanity, I think his name comes to very top, because for him, uh, his developments and his achievements in scientific field, they, they fed lots of millions and billions of people. I come from India, and I can tell you, in 1960s, when Dr. Borlaug came there and introduced new varieties of wheat and rice, probably that was a turning point. We call it Green Revolution there, and for a country of size of 1.25 billion people, I think we can we can very safely say that because of one individual, many of these people, they, they were escaping famine, they were escaping malnutrition. So, so that was the feeling part. Coming back to the festival part, I think it was, it was, as you said, a bouquet of flowers, a bouquet of different nationalities. So, so it, was, it was very nice. Personally, I, can, I, I enjoyed it a lot. I went to almost all the stalls, Japanese, and African stalls, and one thing which comes to my mind is, all these years I had been playing Mancala, but I was playing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, and that very day, I could learn the real rules of Mancala. So, so that was very fulfilling. Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Well, it it was so significant that you tell us about the the role. We don't know about the role of uh, Berlock in the on the world scene, mm -hmm. but you have seen it uh, yeah, yeah, first yeah. hand. First hand. And this mm -hmm. probably may be the first uh, time mm -hmm. that we hear somebody that uh, have touched yeah. the yeah. impact yeah. of uh, Dr. Berlog on the international humanitarian efforts. Yeah, it's, it's very, very gratifying to, to be here and my daughter going to the same school, which is named after yeah. him, and you know. And that was purely coincidence. Let me ask you, Archer. Uh, 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 when uh, Himani uh, uh, was enrolling in the school district, you know, what was there a special feeling about Burlock as a school, or? Yes, absolutely. Um, um, Burlock was a school which has just um, been founded, I would right. say. So, um, you know, when I enrolled her, obviously I was very um, curious to know who, after who is this name, name. Um, uh, who, uh, who, this name came after who. And when I read about it, you know, I was um, very convinced that this is where Himani will go. So, and, uh, and I'm very glad um, that Himani goes to this school, which has so many, um, in addition to so many other good things that she does over there, she learns acceptance over there that, um, you know, she's, um, if she's, she may be a minority, but she has a very strong uh, sense of identity which she gets to express over there, share over there, and then learn new cultures. So she's breaking the boundaries, and that is what I um, enjoy the most about Borlaug, is that she's becoming a world citizen. And let us see, let us hear from you, Amy. I really like it there. It's so fun to learn about other countries and other places, and especially seeing the other people who actually come from there. Like, not many people come from this one place, but at least one person does, and they have something to 
to share about it, and it's so special for them. Uh, Michiko, yeah, Dr. Michiko, uh, uh, give me your part in the, in, in the evening. Sure, of course, no. this uh, international festival is a really the great event. Just like uh, Sandeep mentioned, uh, we are basically celebrating uh, Dr. Borak's achievements and uh, what he has done for the uh, basically human being uh, for the entire world. And also, uh, on the top of uh, the just learning about uh, you know, other cultures, I think that by presenting uh, those our cultures, uh, we are reflecting ourselves and learning more, even more deeply about uh, our own cultures and you know, having a more, even more more understandings. And I think you know, this is you know, the, you know, the really nice you know, the opportunity for us to uh, the, you know, the learn about our own and also learn about others and putting our community and the schools you know, together. And, and you are uh, you brought today uh, uh, two of your kids, right? <laughs> yep. So uh, we, we have uh, first uh, Tadamichi, right? And then we have uh, Sachiko, right? Mm -hmm. Is it Sachiko or Sechiko? Sachiko. Sechiko, okay. Thank you for correcting me. And uh, I, I want to hear from you, Sechiko, mm -hmm. now. Yes. Tell me about that evening and what was your feeling? Well, when I first came in, it was kind of like a little empty and just started setting up. And then all of a sudden, like, when we like when all the people came in, like everybody just started asking a question, but so that I'm like, just kind of realized, okay, I gotta ask some questions to other people. I can't just stand here just answering questions, not learning other things. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's pretty a good opportunity to learn about like other cultures because you don't really get to do that in social studies or anything at school. <laughs> right. So uh, did some parents come and ask you a question about Japan, for instance? Yes. And you felt at the time that you are teaching adults, yep. right? Mm -hmm. It's a reversed role now, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of just receiving from adults, you are teaching them. You taught me all about origami that night. Oh, yeah. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you were showing me some of the different origami that you had made. Yeah. Uh, Tadamichi, uh, you tell us now your impression about the activity. How does it feel? Uh, I was kind of like excited of the bingo board <laughs> and the, the I. The, I almost finished it, but the one I have one more, and the, it, the yes. I have to go home. <laughs> so I was pretty nervous. Oh, yeah. I think this will count for that piece. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Interview. You're done. <laughs> that was unfair. Was just one step. Yeah. You did well. It's, uh, uh, we we go back to you, doctor. Now. Uh, uh, when you uh, went home and uh, you had uh, Sandeep and uh, Imani with you and the three of you were sitting around the kitchen table, try to reflect upon this. Can you give me an impression of how was the conversation going? Of what you learned and what you contributed and so on? Sure. Um, I, I think, um, you know, the excitement about celebrating this festival starts in our home um, almost like a week or ten days in advance. Oh, wow. So uh, there is a lot of planning that goes because Himani has so many ideas and she wants to share mm -hmm. so much that I have to tell her that there is only so much we can do. So we sort of go over a list and, you know, uh, kind of make a plan. And uh, this year, what we did special was we brought out um, some other families who come from various parts of India, got them together uh, to do one combined uh, display, which was really good because India is a very, very diverse country. So um, the as I can just give you an example that there are some 22 official languages and there are some more than 30 states. So there is a lot that comes in that word India. So I was one of the representatives along with my other friends. So we put together, so we tried to bring out um, various aspects of our culture, including dresses, artifacts, 
And uh, I think uh, what was Himani's one of most favorite things was to sh share her Barbie doll dressed up mm -hmm. in Indian outfits. Mm -hmm. And that was quite a hit um, because <laughs> everybody wanted to really see what it looks like to be dressed up as an Indian bride. And uh, of course, then Himani also directed us that, uh, you know, what will we take to share in terms of food? So, um, you know, she picked out her snacks that she likes the best and wanted to share with her friends. What was the snacks that she likes the best? I'm just curious. Yeah, <laughs> Himani can tell us. It was very delicious food. I, I have been to India and I, I love the, the food there. Now I can't eat spices, but uh, I know that uh, they, they do amazing, amazing types of food there. So what was your first and uh, most favorite? Um, rice popper. Um, they're, and what's that? They're like fried rice um, crackers, and you, they're like colorful and they're oily. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's your favorite, yeah. Mm -hmm. Great, uh, Cindy. Now uh, that you have seen the impact of Berlo uh, in the international uh, humanitarian efforts, uh, do you think that we need more Berlo's now? I mean, we need more people like that. Of course, that. of course. I, I, I think we need many, many more. Um, because as we can see, you know, there are so many conflicts going on and unrest in many parts of the world um, and some of the societies in general or uh, cultures you know they, they, it seems that they are in conflict with each other so people like Borlaug can bring about a sense of peace a sense of unity and a deeper understanding that we all are human beings basically uh, our needs are almost about the same you know we all need food water air and um, good environment. So, so people like him can do a lot more. And I think, uh, and I hope, you know, um, children, our children, and the future generations, they they realize this point and work in the, that direction. That, that's my hope and wish. Thank you very much. So, uh, Ms. Larson, where are we going from here? What's your plan for the future? Oh, for international festival? Yes. I don't. What do you guys think? What should we do differently next year? Mm. Uh, that's very. So you you actually ask the kids about suggestions. I think we should, since we have the chance right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what what should we do differently? What could we add? What can you do differently? That's I think a very the good way we're doing it right now is pretty good, except like, except like sometimes when we put the tables out, like there's a big gap in the middle, and then. All of a sudden, there's this one big table right in the middle. That's what happened a few times. And mm -hmm. then, then once you got that table right in the middle, you can't really go through it. That's so what you're I talking think. about the design, the so, setting. Yeah, I kind of like want the tables all the way around the gym, mm -hmm. but not covering up the bleachers and the door. OK. You, you so. look like an interior designer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think so. Is that, is that what you're going to do in the future? So tell me about what your dream about the future. What are you going to do? I want to be a part of an orchestra. Oh, OK. And you play actually at an instrument yep, already? trumpet. Trumpet. Mm -hmm. That does need a lot of effort, <laughs> huh? So my daughter plays trumpet, and I can mm -hmm. see that. It's, it's not easy. Yeah, my dad taught me to play the trombone. I thought he's a doctor. Well, he played it when he was in school. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> a long time ago. So. so you are an artist and a doctor? Well, the, well, I used to be, I should say. So, so. Now you don't have time for that, right? No, unfortunately. So. You, you are, what's your area? Just for the viewer to know. Oh yeah, I the, the work for the infectious disease department of the University of Iowa, and also the work as an epidemiologist for VA Veterans Affairs Hospital. You were very in the news everywhere recently, <laughs> right? With yeah. Ebola and all that, right? Yeah. No, there are a lot of stuff to keep me busy. So <laughs> <laughs> there was no time for the trumpet. Yeah? No, nope, unfortunately, <laughs> I would love to play, but. Uh, 
let us, let us move to the Imana. What would you like to be in the future? Now you have parents who they are very important doctors. Um, Do you know what they are doing? Doctoring of what? Mm -hmm. Tell me. Uh, the chest and how you process with the heart and no, I know. what's the, their area? What do they do? Like mom, what's her specialty? It's a doctor. She's a doctor of radiology. Radiology. And dad? Um, doctor of radiology. Too. Okay. <laughs> and you you're gonna be with what? A radiologist. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a radiology family. <laughs> wow. <laughs> But you know the radiology is a very wide area, right? Yep. It is, uh, it yeah, is. It's not just X-ray. Mm. Uh, you know, in my, my time when we, we started the medicine a long time ago, it was wrong again. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> now there is like therapeutic. Are you in therapeutic or diagnostic? Radiology? I'm on the intervention side. I'm an interventional radiologist. So. Okay. Uh, how about uh, Tadamichi? What are you going to do in the future? <laughs> yes? You're thinking, yeah? <laughs> okay, how about if we go back to the question of Ms. Larson? How do you do things differently next year for this international uh, festival? Do you change something other than the bingo? Mm -hmm. Contest? No choice. What, uh, what, <laughs> what should we do, like do next year? I know that you are looking at the monitor now. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to look at me. Oh, I have one idea. Hey, Tadamichi, would you sing that song in Japanese that you know? Yeah. Would you do that? I bet everybody would really enjoy that. Are you so up for that? Us, yeah, let's yeah. have a taste of it. Yeah. Oh, could you sing that for us? Yeah. Okay, ready, go. Kaedu no uta ga kikoete kudu yo kwa 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 keo 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 kwa kwa kwa. Maybe you'll be a singer, Tadamichi, when you grow up. I want to finish with you, Emily, again, because we started with you. And you are teaching kindergarten, which is most challenging. I'm glad you recognize <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, the most challenging role. So how do you see the future of the international festival? I agree with what a lot of the kids here said, that it's going really well and that we love what we have going on already. I think my hope would be that we just keep growing it. I would love to see more and more displays and more and more families participate. We, again, have such an amazing diverse community at Warlock. I know many viewers probably don't realize quite what we have here mm -hmm. in the middle of Iowa. Um, but we, for example, in my own class, I have kids from about 10 different countries. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you, you talked about Himani being a minority at Borlaug, and I inside laughed because, uh, honestly, to be Caucasian in my classroom is to be a minority. Yeah. Um, right. So we have students from all over the world, and I love that we incorporate that as teachers into our daily teaching. Um, for example, when we learn about money and coins, we encourage the kids, if you have coins from another country and you want to share them, bring them in and we'll compare them to American money. If uh, we're learning about fabric in science, we encourage the kids, if you have fabric from another country, bring it in, let's look and compare how it's the same as it is here in the US. Um, so I really, I really hope that just like in the classroom, we in embrace those differences and really kind of start to normalize those differences so they're really not even differences so much anymore, that that's just a new normal for everyone. So I'd love to see that the International Festival will just keep going with that and uh, have more families join in and, and share our new normal for a lot. diversity. Uh, do you have kids in the, in the district? I do. I have a freshman at West, and I have a daughter that will uh, be going to junior high next year. She's in sixth grade at Van Allen. Great. They love coming to International Festival, too, Those, I should tell you. Do you have any kids in the district? <laughs> Not anymore. I have a, a daughter who also who teaches in um, St. Louis, Missouri. So, well, uh, guys, we don't want to leave you. I, I'm, I'm sure the viewers don't want to leave you. Uh, but we have to wrap it up and uh, to thank you.
from the bottom of my heart. That was very beautiful. <laughs> very beautiful effort that you did. And we need you, Tadamichi, to do more singing. <laughs> and, uh, and I promise to get your dad uh, to play the trumpet for you in the background. How's that? <laughs> Will that work? <laughs> Thank you. And then I'll very, be telling you not to look at the mother. Uh, to our viewer, uh, we salute uh, Berluk and uh, the parents who came today with the kids and the teachers who honored us with their presence in our program. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, have a very good night.